Uh, good evening, everybody. It seemed to me that my sound, as I just get sorted here, I trust everybody can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you just give an indication? Can anybody hear me? Good evening and welcome on this Monday night. Um, so happy to see each and every one of you far and near here in Cape Town and in different provinces. Hi, Gee, we are happy to see you tonight on the call. You haven't been on for a while, but we, we miss you and we pray for you. And we know that you are also very busy um, doing the work of the Lord. So I trust it is well with each and every one and that you are excited to just unite in prayer for um, only a half an hour. And um, let us make the best of this opportunity. And I trust God that God is going to bless us as always. I just want to give some feedback quickly about the ladies conference everybody was praying for. Thank you so much. Um, I always say without him, we can do nothing. But I had, I think we were about 12 or so ladies um, that traveled uh, with me from here, uh, my ministry team. And I was so proud of having them there. And God just really showed up and God touched the woman and he really, um, it was a Holy Spirit encounter um, afternoon. And I, I'm so grateful for God that has been so good for, um, for us um, in ministry and bringing us home safely. We had to drive back home in, in the darkest hour of the night with the most severe rain I haven't seen in a long time. But here we are, safe and sound. God just carried us through. So we give God all the glory and thank you. Thank you for all your prayers. So if you think you are done with your prayers for me, no, it's only started, you know. Um, the, um, we have got a month, a woman's month here in South Africa so every week um, uh, where is possible services are held and um, uh, our, us ladies we are invited to, to minister so this Saturday I will uh, have the honor and the privilege to go and minister with some ladies of the the, D, the DR the DA the Democratic Alliance um, one of the ladies asked me to, to come and encourage them. And that is what I am there for. So I am going to encourage them. And next Sunday night, I will be at Victory Kingdom, uh, uh, Victory Kingdom Church in Gulls River. And I also really need your prayers. As I say, without him, I can do nothing. So thank you also for praying for our brother Shokat. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if he's on the call, but um, oh, yes. Thank you for, for praying for Brother Shokat. He still experienced a little bit discomfort and um, is trying to get the temperature down. But in the name of Jesus, we are going to pray and we trust God for mighty, mighty healing. Um, then there are numerous and numerous requests for financial breakthrough. I think if there is anybody that um, nowadays say, now I've got enough money, I don't need any money, please just come and knock here at my door. Um, no, I'm only joking, but today I had numerous requests of people that's asking, um, can I contribute to them for just to buy food? And um, um, they are finances stored up that just needs to be paid out and um, they, it's very difficult circumstances out there. Some people that lost their business and um, we prayed already and we're still going to pray. Marlene still needs a job. Um, Daniel st still needs a job. And we are just going to pray because that is the only thing we can do. And I want to encourage you with something excited tonight. Um, if we don't have faith, then everything is lost. And faith 
is something that we don't see, but we trust. While we were driving to Worcester to the ladies' conference, um, Alma and I had a discussion about faith. And I said to her, faith is like, you just get in your car, you start it, and off you go. You don't know if your car is going to bring you at the end of your destination, but you have got the faith in your car that that car is going to bring you until where you want to be. Even if you go and sit on a chair, you don't know if that legs will just fold in. You just sit because you trust the chair. So why can't we trust God? Why can't we have faith in God Almighty that can do far beyond we can ever imagine or ever think? We must just have faith. Every morning I was speaking to one of my friends now, just before the call, and I said, um, I don't like negative speaking. And every morning when we animal self pray, we declare it in our uh, declarations. Today, God is going to do it. And today passed and really not that what we wanted, but in the meantime, there was other miracles, other wonderful things that God answered. But come to God with that attitude. God, today you are going to do that. I want to encourage you to strengthen your faith by taking God on his word. Um, and le let us have a reckless faith in God. Because what have we got to lose? So let us trust God. So yes, I said to my friend, we were speaking about faith and praying. And I said, I am so encouraged. I am so excited because we have two awesome persons that are praying for us constantly, nonstop. And they said, who is the two people? And I said, be on the call tonight and you will hear. Now, the first amazing person I want to share with you is that, that, that prays for us and with us and also through us, and that is the Holy Spirit. He's a person just like us. And you can go and read it in Romans. You can actually read the whole uh, Romans 8 chapter. I just want to um, read you uh, in verse 26. This is now in the Passion Translation. It says, and in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. Wow. And for example, at times we don't even know how to pray. Many times we come at that point that we've been seeking God and asking God. And then you think, Lord, what is this? How can I still pray? Now he says here, many times uh, we don't even know how to pray or know the best things to ask for. But... And that is so amazing. But the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede. Wow, how awesome is that? Just to think that the Holy Spirit is super interceding on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. Wow, 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 what an awesome God we serve. The other person I was speaking uh, uh, about is the greatest intercessor that there was ever, ever, um, and will ever be. And that is our model, Jesus Christ. Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father and is praying for you and for me right now. How amazing is that? I, I, I'm sure if you are as excited as I am, you are jumping up and down. If it wasn't for the camera, then I would be jumping up and down. So um, verse 34 of Romans 8 says, Who then is left to condemn us? Certainly not Jesus, the anointed one, for he gave us his life 
for us. And even more than that, he has conquered death and is now risen. He is exalted. He is enthroned by God at his right hand. So how could Jesus possibly condemn us since he is continually praying for our triumph? Isn't that just two amazing verses? I want to say, wow, God, you are so awesome. Just to think, we are praying here. We are interceding. We are going to pray now. And God is um, intervening. Jesus and the Holy Spirit is intervening. I th that is my own version, Emilia 3, verse 6, where Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, maybe would ask the father father can you hear that are you can you hear that your children is busy praying your children is busy seeking and god would just give his angels charge and say angels just go for them ever if they are in dubai if they are in cape town wherever they may be in namibia angels just go on my behalf and just bring in the blessings bring in the blessings what an awesome god i am so excited in the midst of all these things that tries to take our um focus of jesus tries to take our focus of the word uh, things that tries to take the focus um of uh, 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 of from jesus to our circumstances in the midst of it i am so excited because i know i serve an awesome god and that is the kind of god that we serve the miracle working kind of God, the promise keeper kind of God, the light in the darkness kind of God, that is who he is. And um, let us pray. I'm going to, Guy is going to open the mic and she's going to pray. And she felt God laid it on her heart to pray for the students and the teachers. Very, very important. Uh, Guy, even in our country, very, very hard uh, to be a teacher in these days. Um, and students that, that's really out of hand but let us pray for our teachers and for our students and then Brenda if you are on the call you can open your mic after Guy and then you can lead us in prayer and then we'll see how the Lord lead us further. Thank you Guy. Yes Lord <clears throat> thank you Pastor Emily for that uh, wonderful exhortation for uh, encouraging us tonight. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for your word, Lord God, that uh, remind us, Lord God, your agape, agape love for us. You didn't uh, just give us your son, Jesus Christ, but the Holy Spirit also, Lord God, thank you for, for your love, Lord God. Thank you for this um, wonderful love that you have given us. Uh, Father, we know that uh, children are a gift from you. Your word in Matthew 19, verses uh, 14, commanded us to... To let the children to come to you and to not hinder them from for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them as the school will gonna be open uh, soon lord god for a new school year we thank you for the gift of education lord god we pray that you would bless each student as they are going to return to school we pray that the school administration the school staff the teachers and assistant teachers will deliver the highest quality of education and atmosphere towards them may you help them to keep the peace in the classroom between students and and, and between them, Lord God, help them to be kind and be gentle to each other, to, to each other and uh, guide, them, guide them, Lord God, to balance mercy and discipline in the right measure for students. Give them knowledge and wisdom to help them to keep their lesson be always interesting to the students. Give them uh, grace as they help students who, are, who aren't thriving, Lord God. Get, Give them courage to say what's what is uh, needs to say, and um, who and uh, uh, may they build the confidence of those students who who needs a, um, a, a, a this confidence, Lord God. May they uh, speak love for the students, give them peace, and may they have a gentle and kind relationship with the with each and each one of the students. May you guide them as they will praise. 
and then give its constructive uh, criticism in the manner that is pleasing for the student to accept. May they be aware that they are um, shaping the future for the gift of learning that they are sharing with uh, each one of the student every day. Bless them, Lord, and may they see of how their faithfulness will forever impact to the generations to come. Lord Jesus Christ, we know how much you love the children. You give, you have given them talents, uh, the abilities and spiritual gifts they need to follow your plans for their lives. As they are growing, may you teach them how to manage their time, their energy as good stewards of all you have given them. Fill their hearts with joy that they will excited to each day, Lord God, and every day they're going to walk up in the morning to go to school, to have a new day to learn and to experience a new set of things in their lives, to be courageous, Lord God, to try new things and learn new skills. We pray that the school may serve as a safe place for them as they will learn. As they will learn, they will have fun and build strong relationship with other students. May the atmosphere of each class classroom will be both encourage them and challenge them, but still be conducive to their particular abilities. Show them the importance of learning of learning uh, each day, Lord God, remembering that you that you love them, Lord God, and you will always be with them. May your love, you may your love be displayed in every corner of the school, and may you raise someone to be a channel of blessing to this um, student, Lord God, as well as the school staff and uh, school administration for your for you, Lord, who works things that are not possible to man, and you, and you all the um, all the. And you bless, and you love all the families on the earth shall be blessed, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen and amen. Um, good evening. Thank you, Brenda. Okay. Um, Father, we just want to honor you for a wonderful day. We want to give you praise for who you are. We want to thank you for the opportunity you've given us, Lord, to come together and, and give the honor to the most high God in, in, in your presence, Father. Lord, <clears throat> today I want to pray for um, sure God. Lord, I pray for complete healing over his um, body, Father. I speak of his temperature, his body aches and shortness of breath. The breath. Your word says in 1 John 5, verse 14 to 15, this is the confidence that I have in him that I've, if I if I ask anything according to his will, he hears me. Sickness is not of his will. And I know that he hears me. Whatever I ask, I have the petitions that I have asked him. Lord, Psalm 30 verse 2 says, Lord, my God, I called you for help and he healed me. Thank you for your complete, complete healing over his life, Lord. This is a child of you and I know Lord nothing is impossible by you father I pray now for for revival in in our communities in our churches um Lord wherever we go father God I pray that your spirit will ignite each and every believer father God that we will really come out of our comfort zones and and I pray that your Holy Spirit will make us aware where we need to go I pray that you will guide us father God there are so many people that's lost father broken people people who need you more than ever father I pray that your Holy Spirit to pour out on believers so that they will know the authority and the God given the authority that you have given us, Lord, to go out in the world to perform miracles through your um, help, Father, to speak into people's life, Father God. We need to bring the message of hope to a troubled world. We are really, so many people are struggling, so many people are living beyond the bread line father god and this is a time father god where we need to speak into these people lives father god and we need we've got the resources to do what we need to do father all we need is father god for your leading hand to direct us father your word says in second chronicles 7 14 then if my people were called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins 
sins and they restore their land. This is what I pray over South Africans so that South Africans will really return back to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the reassurance that Isaiah 61 is given us, that the Spirit of the Lord is up upon us because the Lord hath anointed us to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent us to bind up the broken heart to proclaim liberty to the captives and open the presence of them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord in the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. Lord, this is the time. This is the, the time is now for us to step up. The time is now for us to speak. The time is now for us to say, thus say the Lord. Lord, Acts 3 verse 19 says, now repent of your sins and turn to God, Lord. And this is the message we need to bring. And we pray, Father God, of each and every believer, Lord, that you will equip us, Lord, that Holy Spirit, that you will lead us, that you will bring all believers from the west, from the to, to the south and from the north to the east, Father, so that they will even just know who they are in Christ, Father God. And like uh, uh, um, Pastor Warren said la uh, last night, all you need to just say is, I am. And Lord, we need to go in your word. We need to speak in your word. We need to be directed by you, Father, and no one else. And Holy Spirit just guide us and lead us like, like never before, Lord. Isaiah 40 verse, the, the 40 verse 31 says, But they that wait, wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And this is the confidence that we have in you. We need to take your word. We need to speak your word. We need to speak life over those people who does not know you in our families, Lord, our, our husbands, our wives, our, our children, Father God. We call them back, Father God. And as we see, intercede and we keep on interceding for them, Lord, we know that change will be broken father we pray for those children who's who's, who's, who's in, involved in drugs father god tonight we pray lord guide us lead us father god thank you for resources that's there already for people um that can assist us should we need help father god and i just pray father god just lead us now father because we know that you will equip us in order for us to go out, Father. And I thank you, Father God, for what you're going to do on our lives. I thank you for touching each believer, Lord, and equipping us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Guy. Thank you, Brenda, that we can stand in agreement. Um, even if only two are there, uh, then it's so it shall be. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to pray for our finances. And each and every one of you that um, in a predicament, let us trust God and let us just um, stand in agreement. I want to believe with you tonight for that, that there is a supernatural breakthrough in our finances. Supernatural is only God can do that. That is not um, by the hand of a man. So I trust God tonight for supernatural release in our finances in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that, that uh, in the name of Jesus, we can come to you tonight and that we can lift up each and every one of us on the call, each and every one of our friends, our families uh, who has been affected as we sit here around this table in this prayer meeting father i pray tonight that as we call upon your name in the name of your son jesus christ we trust and we believe you for a financial miracle to be released in our lives in this day in this week in the mighty name of jesus lord i stand on your promise that says what is impossible with man is possible with god i speak it tonight lord 
and I pray and I'm asking you that you release a financial blessing in our lives and we stand in agreement according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11 your word declares that you have got great plans for us plans to prosper us and not to harm us to give us a hope and a future Lord thank you father that you for your word and that you are able to release the supernatural provision and that you open a door that no man can shut I'm praying tonight specifically Lord that you open a door of provision for our finances to be released in the name of Jesus in our lives Lord I thank you that you make a way where there seems to be no way yeah I thank you Lord that you bring prosperity and blessings into our lives Lord in your mighty name I call forth a financial blessing I call forth a supernatural blessing from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I bless each and everyone on this call tonight and I declare and I decree that a shift a supernatural shift is coming change is coming finances is coming our way to the glory and the honor of your name and if you are standing in agreement with me just shout amen i thank you father god that you are jehovah jireh our provider i declare that provision will find us lord lord tonight i come and i break the spirit of poverty i break the spirit of lack and of death in the name of jesus christ because jesus according according to john 10 verse 10 you came so that we can have life and life in abundance hallelujah tonight lord lord i declare and i decree that you deliver us from every financial bondage in the name of jesus lord tonight i break the curse tonight i break the cycle of the financial blockage in the mighty name of jesus and tonight lord i pray in faith i believe your word that says all things are possible for those who believe Lord, you are El Shaddai, the more than enough one to provide in all our needs. And I thank you, Lord, that you release financial provision to everyone on this call tonight, right now, in Jesus' name. Lord, I come against every negative word. I come against every negative thought. Take our thought captive to your obedience. Lord, I come against every uh, um, negative uh, speak that people will say, oh, it is the end of the month and I'm broke. No, I cancel that. I cancel that tonight, Lord. And I say thank you, Father God, that you order our steps into provision and that you have set it up for us in the name of Jesus. I thank Thank you for what you are doing right now on behalf of our prayers and thank you Jesus that you intercede for us thank you Holy Spirit that you pray for us Lord I thank you Father that financial provision is on the way and this week we are going to share testimonies about how God just came through I thank you this is our day for a miracle in Jesus name this week week God is going to do it I declare it I declare it this week God is going to do it and I'm standing firm on your word Lord that Proverbs 13 verse 22 says wealth and riches are in our house we give you glory we give you honor and we give you praise lord i thank you i thank you i thank you there's not a shadow of doubt that i know this week god is going to come through because god is able he's able i thank you lord i give you all the glory lord i thank you for your healing power as we already prayed for our brother shortcut father he 
healing in the name of Jesus. It is settled. It is done. I thank you that you cover him with your blood, Lord. I thank you, as we heard last night, about uh, uh, the blood that was shed on Calvary. There was a blood transfusion so that we can be healed shortly by the stripes of Jesus. You are healed completely in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your speedily, speedy healing for Alma, who taught a muscle. And Lord, also for Roy, young boy um, that gets seizures. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come and I say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch that little young boy and heal him completely, completely. When doctor says there's no hope, then Christ just arise and shows up and heals people because Jesus, you are the, the healer. You are our healer, Lord. I give you glory. Today we heard of a 27 year uh, old young man he's dying of of colon cancer and a day or two ago he gave his heart and he gave his life to jesus but even in this hour of death god can still raise up a young man to the glory and the honor of his name so we pray for him i don't know his name but god knows his name he knows his address so i thank you lord i give you glory I give you glory just where you sit there. Just lift up your hands and say, thank you, God. Provision is on the way. Breakthrough is on the way. Healing is on the way. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer. You are Jehovah Nisi, our banner, Lord. I thank you. Your banner over us is love, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Lord. I thank you that you make us more than conquerors, Lord. I give you glory. I praise your name. I say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for what you are about to do as we pray tonight. And I thank you that we can declare the word. I want to speak a blessing over each and every one of you on this call tonight lord and i thank you that life and death is in the power of the tongue and i choose to speak life let us arise in the name of jesus because the glory of god has risen upon us hallelujah i declare it over you tonight not by uh, 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 just having this as a habit and if it is a habit then it is a very good habit but i want to speak the blessing over you tonight and say you are what the word says you are and you can do what the word says you can do and you will achieve what the word says you will achieve because you are not under the curse but you are blessed with all the spiritual blessings through Christ Jesus according to his word in Ephesians 3 you are blessed with all the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 14 you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the field you are your basket is blessed everything your hands touch are blessed everything you touch will prosper um andre also received that for eugene tonight everything your hands touch are blessed you are blessed when you go in you are blessed when you go out the enemy will come to you on one way but he will flee before you in seven ways because part of our inheritance is this Isaiah 54 verse 17 that says no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper no tongue that rises against us will stand Lord um, I thank you that you make us the head and not the tail we are going up we're not going down we are moving forward we are not going backwards and we our prayer warriors our intercessors we are the apple of our father's eye Lord I thank you in this season we will see sinners come to repentance. We will 
will see the lukewarm will be set alive and we will see captives being set free sick will be healed because by your stripes we are healed lord and you sent your word to heal us from all our diseases lord i thank you that i can speak it over each and everyone you are anointed with the well favor of god jobs will come and better jobs houses will come and better houses cars will come and better cars businesses will come and bigger businesses and our needs are met i say it tonight we are out of debt and there is plenty more to put in store and we will never ever have another broke day in our lives again in jesus name have faith in god god is faithful to do what we ask i thank you lord i give you glory and honor and i thank you for an awesome week i thank you for a week that signs and wonders and miracles will manifest in our lives in the name of jesus is this impossible no because with god all things are possible enjoy a blessed week time is out thank you for joining us from wherever you are god bless you let it go well and stay safe until next monday shalom